and we're back to learning game and this time I'm going to show you how to create a dotted effect. Grab the original right here, you will find it via the description link below and I copy it. Let me rename the copy, I double click on the layer, make sure that you've got this layer active, then go to filters, distorts and there is a newsprint option. Just check the preview and you can see all of the effects in real time. Let me make it bigger with the period function. Right now we've got a line for the pattern and for this effect we want to change it to circle but you would also have for example a diamond pattern right here. The angle below the period it sets the angle you could say of these stripes. So if I change it it's being rotated around the center. You can also click and drag on the circle to adjust the angle. For the quality, it doesn't have a huge impact here. But the effects below, they do. Turbulence, you could say it makes it more uh, blurry, more chaotic. For this dotted effect, we want to go down with it. Block size. It becomes more obvious if I change the pattern to line. So let me do that and you can see what this does. So all of these lines are basically arranged in blocks and you can make these blocks bigger or smaller. If you make them too small in relation to the period, you're going to have basically a vanishing effect of the entire pattern. So you have to keep these two parameters in balance. And the final effect below the angle boost it once again becomes more obvious if I use a line. So let me switch that with the drop down once more. And you can see these little lines in the blocks. So you can rotate them as well with this function. For the dotted effect, we'll go back to the circle pattern. And then we'll find a good balance between period and block size. And we can basically neglect most of the other functions as long as we keep the turbulence low. And once we've found something that we like, just click on OK and it's going to be applied to the layer. This was our original and this is the one with the dotted effect applied. And this is how you can create this dotted effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.